hello hello my crafting beauties I miss you so much and I was missing this channel for about two weeks or so right after my birthday I went away as you see I'm not as crispy white like a Casper ghost I got little sun kisses <laughs> and um, yeah I when I come back home after two weeks and I was like oh my god I have so many new subscribers from my heart thank you so much guys for subscribing to my channel it's mean a lot to me uh, when I see new subscriber it's like I feel like a kid in a candy store you know what I mean <laughs> I'm glad to every one of you all, all your comments all your questions I hope I answer to everybody if not I'm sorry if for some reason I did not see your comment but I think I cover all so today um, yesterday last night I posted two short videos about diamond painting that I would love to do full review and as you know when you see my videos well let me just get back a little bit when I come back from vacation I look through my channel I look statistics and I did not know that before but I saw that I have some dislikes on my channel so it kind of made me sad because I would love to know why people don't like this on that or that video uh, maybe the way I talk I know my English not as perfect as could be but I perfectly fine speak three languages I learn in Spanish hola amigos buenos dias <laughs> I understand two more languages so yeah it can be a little bit messed up and my sentences not as 100% pure and clear but I mean if you understand what I'm talking about then it's perfectly fine with me or maybe somebody dislike videos because I don't know I'm not as advanced as I start study YouTube just last winter I literally went through hundreds of YouTube channel tutorials how to manage YouTube have to do everything all the background on YouTube that you guys don't see but that's lots of work involved to do properly proper YouTube management so I don't know it kind of make me sad when I think if you don't like something just move on move on go to different channel that you think is absolutely 100% professional and I'm just a girl who kind of is pure heart trying to teach those people who are really really beginner who might find my channel useful for them and if you advanced you just you know move on you don't need to be rude and dislike video because I never dislike videos for anybody even if I don't like the video in fact if I see somebody struggling for the first time doing YouTube just to start 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 I actually would give them nice comment to encourage and give some even tips how to do their channel better or better lighting or something like that so yeah let's move on with our video for today <laughs> and um, we have today full review on my horses diamond painting that I did for my brother-in-law and here it is let me just show you you saw my video yesterday if not there's a full video a little about this as you see it looks really beautiful picture look amazing which I had some good problems with it too so let's see this painting is okay it should be size in here somewhere why cannot see it oh okay it's a 50 by 40 50 by 40 and I have here a um, little bit piece of paper so I cannot remember what to do 
Um, the link to this shop is named Zoo Star Official Store. Uh, as I say before in my previous video, it has a two stores that has absolutely same name, which is Zoo Star. But the ending of the store name is different. One is, I, I believe, Zoo Star Boutique Store. And this one is Zoo Star Official Store. So anyway, I will link this diamond painting below in my video. So you will decide if you want to purchase this or not. Because my problem was, it was really, really difficult chart to read because some icon like the print on a canvas was kind of smudged blurry so it was really hard to see the icons some icons was like almost identical and the same background color and I had a hard time to start by doing it um, especially it was really hard to do this browns color and here on the bottom I spent most of the day I think just on the one little corner because it was so bad smudged print that I I was working with my magnifying glass and I just like I, almost like I'm guessing what's the number that could be someone of you suggested to use light box I do have a light box that I bought from maybe Michael's long time ago. I'm actually show you a box right now. Hold on. I got this one. I think it was from Michael's, maybe even Walmart. This is from the light tracer box, but I mean it's still lighten up. That's how it's look like, and it give you pretty good light for the paper to go through light, but. Okay, I'm talking too fast, I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, so light did not help. Obviously, I tried and it just wouldn't work for me. So, uh, I find the best way to work with this particular diamond painting is by the light in the daytime, when I was sitting upstairs by my desk and the light go from my left side. And that's the way it was more easy to see those icons because if I show you here on the video if I show you on this paper which uh, let me see find it first I have here okay I have this I don't know what you see there's a plus and minus up there almost like the same color I don't know if you can see it it's it's plus and minus and the same green background and and the actual plus and minus in white color background green and you would think well it's pretty much good visible but the canvas was so smudged and poorly printed that those pluses was like turned into the minus and you can't really see what is what by slightly slightly color difference in the background so it was really difficult so if you plan to buy this diamond painting I don't know you might want to check different stores for a different uh, maybe printing will be different but you can't really see in those stores till you buy it but after all i like the way it's come out and 40 by 50 it's pretty good size and looks looks pretty gorgeous when it's done so now what um what else i want to say what i don't let's say what i like first what i like first the customer service was really good about the store because I contacted back and forth, back and forth with the owner because I wanted this printing faster because it was as a gift and supposed to be for Easter, but uh, it kind of came right before Easter and 
our post office was shut down for the holidays and so I didn't have a chance to do this but after I received this and I saw how much work it is it was would be no chance for me to do in one or two days so I was just doing slowly little by little till I finish just now plus I was away for a week then my kids got both sick and I just didn't have energy to do anything so so that's the good thing they they ship fast if you ask and they answer your questions in the email pretty much fast so if you have some concern or stuff like that they will answer right away and you decide if you like to go with the store or not now what else good I have here beads in this box that tons of beads is left well maybe um, if I can put okay hold on let me put camera now down so we can see a little bit close in here what are we talking about just a minute Okay, I hope this is gonna be okay for you to see. So, yeah, the painting is beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm just gonna turn like this, and um, I'm gonna show you how much beads left. Oopsie, sorry, not my camera. Let me bring a little bit close. Sorry, guys. I'm just gonna try it just a little bit. Okay, so as you see from this particular painting I have left with lots of beads, different color, which is always good because many stores will be like, you know, short or not enough. So I'm happy about this, that is, it is enough. I didn't have enough for these containers. So some of them left in a baggie and I just cut cut it out number from the bag the beads was and I just stick inside the ziplock. That's how I uh, collect my beads if I don't have enough containers. Okay, so now the bad thing about these beads. Okay, I'm just going to show you our famous bead everybody know by the number it's black tray 10 this beads was like I already threw away so much stuff okay so we don't spill on it I'm just gonna keep this clear and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about okay do you see how much garbage in this tray like this beads are so it was like tons of tons. I already threw away a whole bunch of garbage, but I mean so many this deserted and pieces of plastic. So this was like the most worst black color so far I receive. Very very dirty black. And then I had some. Let's see which one. I think. I think it was. Maybe this one, let me see. I don't know. This is just a left, very tiny bit. This one I was worried it's not gonna be enough, but I don't know if you can see just a little bit of beads left in, up there. But the thing is, some beads, I, I would say 3D, and some beads, sorry, 5D. The difference, you can tell by the quality uh, let me just turn to me so I can see okay for example where 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 some nice pretty color I think that was maybe this one Like, like this one beads nice and clear and some of this 
I remember was like a greenish or teal color that is really dimensional and black one is almost like flat and some beads is pretty and different cut I, it might be this one when you working with them I don't know okay it's definitely not gonna focus right now but some beads is better cut a little bit more three-dimensional which they call them 5d and some is like very flat almost like flat to nothing so I don't understand how they mix in a bead size and different cut to one painting so that's what I didn't like about this particular picture I don't know if all pictures like that this is my first painting from that particular store which is Zoo Star official store so that's for you to decide if you like this or not I'm just giving to you my honest review what I'm thinking about this and then you decide what you like what you don't so now what else I have here um, okay so after I finish this diamond paint and now I'm just gonna give you some uh, tips in here and yesterday when I posted my finishing touches um, on this corner I was doing a finishing piece of my thing and uh, and I say oh only one color is left <laughs> and then when I look later through my painting I mean through my uh, video and I saw there's some more beads missing when you see close up with the camera then you see kind of missing but that wasn't the deal about one bead missing from different color it was much more um, few here and there was missing but have to find them easily see in my work when I do I don't work by like lines some people do perfectly all lines all the way one by one bead I do by colors so I'm just like do brown 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 I open a little bit square of piece like I'm not breaking it because I, I like to keep I'm just like keeping this cover all the way and then I peel a little corner kind of stick something heavy to hold on to this paper and then I place beads one color then I go to the other color so it could be later on in a mix some bead was missing so you don't see it what I did have to fix them after I, I do this with all my pictures I put light behind like like oh, hold on guys okay I'm gonna show you what I do I put light behind a picture like for example here's my night table light and I put picture up front of that light and then I look moving my painting through the light well you when you have a light box that would work perfectly too but then I move my picture around and if I miss someone somewhere bit bit that little square gonna be like a see-through square so you can see perfectly where is the missing bead. So you just go, go, go around lights. Aha, uh -huh, here's the hole. Place the bead. Go again around, place the bead. So after you place all your beads, there's always gonna be some bead could be not placed all the way flat down. And this is very important. You have to make sure all the beads stay flat. But when you place in it, for example, three beads at a time or ten beads at a time, sometimes some bead will sneak out and go on top of each other and doesn't go flat all the way to the canvas. So what you do, I'm going to bring my camera back down. What I did, and I do this with every of my picture, I just use my hands and I go through with my hands like this. And when you 
feeling when some bead didn't stick to the canvas you will feel sharp corners sticking out actually and it's pretty obvious you cannot miss it because it will poke your finger when you slide in like this you will feel like something is not straight so I did this last night pretty good I don't think I'm gonna find now bead any missing but I'm still gonna check right in here with you just to make sure nothing will okay I see now this little tiny yellow bead um, I don't know if you're gonna see it hold on okay this yellow bead is corner sticking out so what I do I can use my pen or I can use just my finger and you will hear click and that click will tell you that your bead now is in place and then you just keep going keep going keep going keep going till you feel because sometimes overnight or whatever it is if your beads because some of these beads smaller than the other that's what I'm saying it's kind of like a different beads in this painting some of the beads 3d some 5d and and it, you can see the dimension like those light colors much better quality than brown one or black well, it's not much black in here but the quality of beads you you can feel as soon as you are holding them in your hands you feel it so it's pretty much flat now i don't feel anything sticking out so what i do next i put this sheet back on the top then I have here my mystery tool that I got for baking to make a pierogi or cookie dough whatever it is pelmeni like I call Ukrainian ravioli so then I use this wider side you can use the bigger one and I just roll it all the way around and it helps to to click some beads in time don't cry don't go crazy hard but not too light you just go all the way up and down up and down roll beads and if you have some beads missing as well just gonna press them all together nicely and your beads will be placed to the glue to the canvas and stay strong some of the ladies do top coat with glossy mud podge i don't like the idea i don't know why need that because if you're gonna frame it under the glass which is my suggestion to put this kind of art only under glass because after all it still attract dust and you don't want your beads get dulled and dirty but when you put the shiny glass uh, Mud Podge. I still believe that the quality of the beads gonna look a little bit different Not as shiny sparkle, but just a glossy from the Mud Podge. I don't know. I don't like that So I don't do that. This is gonna be framed under the glass and will still clean and uh, That's what it is. So that's how we do Placing the beads together, have to find the beads when you're missing the beads, so now it's all good in here. Now, when I was doing this corner, um, some lady on YouTube, her name is Claire Steen, I hope I pronounced your name right. She say, I can't seem to get my beads in the tray lines, on the tr on the str in the straight lines on the tray, like you have to pick up multiple beads so i'm gonna show you now how i do it just a little bit tip and maybe it will help somebody else so we're gonna switch designers here and i'm gonna pick different different design here i'm gonna put my horses away and we will and I'm gonna show you how
have to do your beads line up this is by the way I'm gonna show you what it is this diamond paint and I bought for my son it's a transformer bumblebee who watched the movie I love the movie I watch I think it's two of them or three I don't know I think I saw two or maybe three I'm not sure so anyway um, yeah so he kind of started oh this painting big I have to move over a little bit so my son started here on a little bit of this corner as you see he plays a few bits he's 13 but he did pretty good job he's doing a straight job <laughs> he did good job so mom I have to encourage him to do okay so how we line up your beads okay I pick here 939 this is square beads and we're gonna I'm gonna show you how I do it so for good amount there is kind of well I don't know it's almost car it's lots of beads in here this is your little pile in here and then some tray is different sometimes I have a tray that is closed here and beads not coming out so what I do I'm just like because this one has a hole so if I shake it the beads actually will sneak out and fall out from this hole so I put my finger inside and then I shake 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 not too hard just to shake it up shake 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 and now we need line up in a line so I tilt a little bit backwards and then I slightly tap in here and all those beads that didn't go in a line will fall down you see that they fallen down and you have a perfectly line up bits up there okay so then what I do try to get close okay so we have our bits line up now I'm gonna grab if you're using this big one side if you have a big background this one is for picking 10 beads at a time so um, I'm just placing on the top just trying to do straight up a little bit press and you have a, a whole row I don't know can you see it? all the beads stuck up there now to place them straight on your line I don't just like press and that's it usually it's gonna end up a little bit on the other side of the row so what I do I'm kind of do like a walking step I'm moving from up or from down from up to down so it's kind of like I'm walking this round motion and I'm gonna show you and I hope you can see a little bit kind of far my toe gonna fall so I'm gonna open okay hold on I don't see where, 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 where I am this canvas is big I'm trying to figure out okay how to do better okay so here we go so I find my big lines I kind of um, I wish I can do close then I kind of put my bead to the bead that it's finishing, like next to it. And then I look to my last bead and I kind of like a walking forward. And then it's done. And if something didn't stick to it, you just... Or press it later. And here is your perfect line of the beads okay it's same thing with this little tool if it's hard for you to do with big tool use same thing for just to practice this little one with this three it would be easier just press on it oops 
I think it works in here not strong enough. You have it, three beads. And with three beads you will have more control. And just the same thing, kind of like a walking motion. It's like you're rolling. Not put straight, but rolling. That way it's more straight line will appear. So this is a little tip for you. If you just, you know, you never try this other side and only with one. With one it takes sometimes too long. If you, you know, not in a rush and you're doing it for yourself to enjoy, it's okay to do just a one bead by bead. And if you're doing for somebody present and you need kind of like faster to be done, so this is an amazing tool to speed up your work. Okay, so now we remember, right? You shake, 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 and then you tap a little bit backwards, kind of tilt. And then tap, 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 and all not wanted beads will slide all the way to the corners. And you have a nice row of beads to work with. I hope clear this will help you. Let me know if it's work for you. And, um, you know, I would love to hear your response. Okay, now what else we want to talk about this? So yeah, now when you're taking a uh, design from AliExpress, by the way, the horses is from AliExpress. And um, different sizes, different quality. So if you pick smaller size, it might not gonna look as good because, you know, it's gonna be less beads placed and because of the smaller canvas the detail details usually go a little bit more blurry so it's just up to you how you like to to do it so now i'm gonna show you i'm just thinking if i forgot anything or not oh yeah and plus if you like to join my facebook group please more than welcome we can share up there our projects, finished projects, projects in progress. And then lady share some links if you like some painting to order. And eventually I will sell some and I, I do some, but not in like, I'm just going to be ordering big bulk projects. But for now, I'm just being a little bit busy. So it's uh, the Facebook group called Diamond Painting for All Ages. So please, lady, come join our fun and um, subscribe to my channel if you're not yet. I always glad to see new people. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of different painting that my little girl doing. She's nine years old and she's doing this sunflower and this one is round beads by the way the horses is square beads this one is round beads and look how much she did already she was just doing from one side I think she's doing a good job I'm not gonna help her with this one she have to complete all by herself and she gladly do this, but she's doing like little by little. You know, kids don't have a <laughs> too much patience to sit in one spot and do designs. She love YouTube. She watching YouTube videos all the time. Kids some fun stuff. So when she feel like she wants to do it, she's doing this one. So that's her project. And I think for now, I think I cover everything so far. So now some of you, uh, if you looking at to give this as a gift and you don't know how to, like this one would be gift from my brother-in-law and he will frame by himself because I don't know, uh, you know, they have a house design, they will pick frame that suit them better 
then I would pick maybe, you know, so they can go more expensive frame or whatever they would love to have to fit their style of the house. So now just a little bit, um, let me see what I have here. If you don't have framed picture yet, uh, let me see. I just want to see if this going to work. Okay. You see this roll? This is from Christmas wrapping paper. So I didn't throw away them because I knew eventually I will do some projects, whatever it is. So I want to try right now in front of you for the first time, see if this going to work. When you want to wrap this picture, I do not recommend actually wrap inside because the beads would be squished to each other and the chance that it will pop out. So I would do flip on another side and then you roll beads this way and all this camera and they would just roll perfectly fine. The rows let you because of the lines, right? It will let you roll your painting good. Okay, here is your roll canvas. And then you cover in a clear sheet to protect from a dust. Well, of course, this one would be like shorter just to fit your painting, right? You just um, cut excess and leave it as much as you, your painting size is. Then you clear in a clear plastic to cover and just put this little um, elastic rubber, um, like a hair elastic or those uh, rubber you can use for kitchen or whatever it is, uh, on both sides and your painting will be safe, you can store somewhere else. Okay, so I think that's the way to go or actually even on the top of this you can return to your cover sheet that you were in the first place was cover with and do this yeah I think I would do this like this and I think it's a pretty good tip and uh, I know many of you keeping those rolls you can find these rolls in a um, ceramic wrap in the foil wraps for the using for kitchen well foil it's a little bit more smaller in diameter but this one is as you see perfectly fine and if you want to even ship for somebody uh, in a mail this this would safely uh, you know save for your painting and you just wrap a cover on the top if you don't have a box so that's the tip for you about what to do with ready finished your diamond painting okay also you can put them I think uh, like on a mm, clothes clips or how you call it <laughs> or um, you know that so you can kind of hang them straight up I don't know some people do that but this is it for now I think so I'm gonna ask you please give me your uh, you know if you have some better tips leave me in a comment uh, tell me what you think about today's video and I will make sure to uh, leave a link below for this painting to the store so as I say you know it was not this not the best canvas printing but after all the picture looks really good and uh, I, I like it but would I do this again Probably not, not with this store. I would look probably somewhere else. Well, actually, I will be have for sale uh, horses. They're a little bit different picture, and I think it's more horses running by the waterfalls. And um, that particular company is really, really clear printing. If you saw my unboxing video where I unbox ten projects uh, you will see how good quality those canvases are so yeah 
let me know what you think and I'm glad you stopped by and I hope this video was helpful for you if not just you know please move on and uh, you don't need to dislike you don't have to <laughs> make me sad because you didn't like something or at least if you didn't like let me know why you didn't like so uh, yeah that's it guys so I love you all and uh, I will do my next video I'm gonna show you what I gonna do in my next video let me put this away and in my next video which will be very soon I have some boxes in here of the diamond painting so we will be unboxing this there's five in here but in here I have same diamond painting two of them so that's gonna be my project for next video we're gonna unbox some good stuff and when I guys unbox stuff it's not just to um, you know when I unbox stuff it's not because I want to show off myself what I have no it's not what I do I do reviews if you already know me that it's important to let people know how this product came to you in what condition and maybe you can change something like I have some big problems up there already some I've been very patient it's been sitting here for one week but I did not open because I want to open with you and have this first impression because the box was pretty much squished so my painting inside is crying probably and by the way when I look in a, on that particular painting on my tracking number right it doesn't say when it's in Canada yet so it's like it's still an ocean something flying between China and Canada so yeah the package is here but tracking number never mind it's never true so if you receive it's good if you do not receive it's mean will come soon so that's how it's works so that's my plan for next video stay tuned don't go far <laughs> and yes let me know what you think about video today what I can do better but I try my best from my heart to try to help you and give you my knowledge what I learn uh, by doing experimenting stuff by myself or what I learn from different people and I want you to know all that so you can't you know uh, don't make mistakes where others can do okay I see you on the next video bye bye